So Paul, tell us a little bit about this site. Well, it's just a small, um, probably a little medieval site. There certainly was medieval buildings. Chatting to people in the village and the farmer seems to think that, you know, something was going on here. Buildings, soil's quite black. And I can see looking down, there's quite a bit of pot, tile, clay pipe stems. So I'm guessing there's going to be quite a bit of iron down there. This um, is littered with iron. Certainly as you get halfway down about where we are now, it gets busier, yeah, and quite noisy. Typical of a habitation site, really. So recovery speed's going to be king here, isn't recovery it? Recovery speed's going to be king of frequency. So I'll keep the frequency. I normally knock it up around about the 30. Um, yeah, and just listen for those little sweet sweet noises coming okay. through. Should we give it a go? Let's give it a go, because only one way to find out. May the best man win. Good luck. Cheers. <laughs> That's not bad at all. It's coming in at 70, but it's the sound you're going for. There it is, I think. I think I've seen something. Uh, little Roman coin with a hole in it. Sounds nice, Gar. Cleaned it up a little bit. Cleaned it. Hammer? Hammered coin. Ah, what a little, little bit of silver way. look. Well done. Yep. There you go. Nice signal, wasn't it? It was a lovely Crispy signal, in nice amongst signal. all that iron. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's a little stud. 50 on the XY screen, same yeah. as that last one. Oh. oh, a little stud. A little stud yeah, look. it's like I had just up there just now. Little stud. Listen to that soundtrack. You couldn't wish for a better soundtrack to detect nope. to, could you? That iron. No. Nope. Don't let that put you off, all you new guys, because that's what it's all about, working amongst the iron. Do you know what? This is my favourite sort of searching. Yeah. You know, I could do something the size of a tennis court <laughs> all day long if it's, you know, got iron in it. Yeah. It really is a sort of technical site, isn't it? You're winkling out between the iron. Definitely. I mean, listen to them machines. They're loving it, aren't they? They are. That's what they're built for. The, uh, That's what you, they love. You're right. The XPs do love working the iron. So what program are you using on the ORX? Well, I've kept it in CoinFast today. Um, and well, it's basically CoinFast. OK, I've made just, any I've adjustments? I haven't, I, I did initially, but I've just dropped it back to standard coin fast now. Uh, okay. Dropped the discrim from seven down to, I tried it at 3.5, and it was still quite quiet. Yeah. So it's uh, obviously filtering out some of the iron. Yeah. But, um, so it's now on, it's on 3.5 now, so. Okay. I'm using the hot program, because I want to hear all the feedback from this iron. Yeah. And I've got the, higher frequency running yeah it seems to be working quite well i'm yeah. getting all the really tiny targets yeah yeah getting a load of feedback but you're not going to get depth on this sort of ground no. are you no. if, if there's an iron it, trying to achieve depth is yeah. just pointless you're no. just trying to look at putting fines yeah. in your pouch really it's a matter of just it's working with the site the soil conditions it in is. it and what's in there yeah you know don't don't try i mean iron will catch you every time you know yeah and you, it you've is. got to adapt you've got to change if there's lots of iron then you know you want the right coil to deal with it. Game of nerves, isn't it, Iron? It is. You've really got to get your it head is. down and get in that zone. Yep, yeah, that's the secret. Once you're in the zone, then you'll, yeah. you know, the iron's good. You just listen for them little squeaky ones come through.
Yeah, I think we'd um, probably be better off if we were to use headphones, but obviously for the sake of filming, yeah. we're not. But yeah. when yeah. you're using headphones, you're that much more into the sure. machine. You're a yeah. part of the machine. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah, you? yeah. You're at one with it, then you get in tune with it. It's, oh, um, no, it's a difference. Yeah, it's yeah. different. The first time I've had the headphones off for a long time, yeah. and it's quite odd how it's uh, you know walking along the edge of the field. Well, perhaps if we do another couple of lines, and yeah. then now about swapping coils, you try the elliptical yeah. on the ORX, yeah. and I'll try the round. Yeah. Give it a go. Give yeah. it a go. Yeah, Come on, on, then. Right. Looks like a little little Roman coin. It is just a small Roman. Come on, you little hammered! Come on. Rubbish. Well, let's have a change around. Swap coil. See how yep. we get on. Give the electrical yeah? a go. Okay. So all you need to do is dial up menu coils, and that number will be in, in the machine. So you just okay. select it. So, so what's you your go. thoughts on the frequencies then with the, uh, obviously we've been fairly high today on a lot of them, but. Yeah, I think when it is. comes to frequencies, Paul, it's, it really is a suck it and see. There's no mm. sort of set rules regarding no. frequencies um, because you only know what you're finding, you never know what you're missing. So true, you, you're true, never yeah. going to find the ideal frequency no. for every target. So no. I think out here, you know there's hammered coins, you know there's lots of iron, so. Yeah, I'd favour the, the mid to higher frequencies, mm. definitely. Yeah, yeah. And, and just see how you get on. Yeah. But your machine will tell you when it's not happy. Yeah. You can just go up and down the frequencies. Just don't spend too much time on them. Mm. Just flick through and just yeah. see, see what it sounds like, you know. So that's it, really. Yeah. Frequencies is a bit of a minefield. Yeah, sure. But like I say, hammered coins, higher frequency in general. And also, you're going to have a better iron see-through with the higher frequencies. Yeah. When you've got small nails and small coins, the higher frequencies do tend to get better separation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all we can do is get out there and give it a try. True, yeah, that's it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful cut quarter. Look at that. As you can hear there, the dais is in its element amongst this iron. It's just rocking and rolling, no trouble at all. But there's also some things you need to consider when searching iron. One thing's your sweep speed. A smooth, confident sweep speed's always better than a slow, nervous sweep speed. Keep it steady and also sweep technique. Keep that coil as close to the ground as possible. Even if you've got it two, three inches above the ground, you could be compromising the performance. So just be very mindful when searching iron to keep everything really, really tight. And of course, concentration. That's another important thing. Don't lose concentration. Keep your head down and just listen for those high spikes in amongst all that buzzing. There's got to be something on this just up here. <laughs> there has. I can feel it. Feel it in my water. That's a nice little two-way signal. He's on 74 kilohertz now, so I've whacked this elliptical core right, right up. Looks like it's just going to be deep, but... Oh, cut quarter. What's that, Paul? Cut quarter. 
See, I told you it was Same. worth the 74 yeah, kilohertz. It was. It does get the small stuff, doesn't it? That's small, isn't it? Look at it. Nice one, actually. Not bad. Fifty-four. A little bit of iron there, but that's normal air, isn't it? What's that just there at the end of the coil? Look. What is that. it? It looks like it's a little bit shiny. Hey, hey. Might be a little tiny hammered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Little hammer. I'm have my glasses on. Got hammer there, look. Well done, mate. 54. Well done. Lovely. Amazing how they survive. We've had a few bits, so haven't we? Done okay, it's really. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's very dry. Obviously, well, it's not too bad underneath, but no, that's good. Good result. Time to wrap it up. Have a cup of I tea. I think bit it of lunch. is. Yeah. Mouth's a bit dry. Okay. It's been a hot day, hasn't it? Guys, thanks for watching. Top tip. Never run away from iron, embrace it, because that's where the goodies are. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Cheers, guys. Good luck.